All right, what's up guys? We're sitting in the Subaru now. Um, I decided I'm gonna make a little video on how to replace the uh, shift knob. I already replaced it before I decided to make the video, um, but I figured it'd be a good tutorial uh, for the people that don't know how to do it. This is for manual transmissions, obviously. Uh, not all of them are gonna be the same. Some knobs might have a set screw or something. So you just wanna make sure it doesn't. This one does not. So starting off, you wanna just twist it. Now I did already have this one cracked loose. Um, sometimes you might ha you might have to put muscle behind it. Uh, if that doesn't work, put your back behind it. That'll usually get it to work better. So since I already had this one off, it's relatively easy. Just pop it off and screw it. See, screws down. So the shift knob I ordered was a Mishimoto um, weighted shifter. I love this thing. It's awesome. It has great weight to it. Um, it came with one second here adapters. You know, for different um, different sizes, different size shifters you have. set so what you want to do is if the one you ordered has um if it's like i think this is just kind of like a generic one not generic just like multi-use like fits most models if yours is specifically made for your car it probably won't have these this is the first time i've done it so i'm not too sure you can't quote me on that um so like I said, you want to find the one that'll fit down on there. Obviously, these two didn't. Let's see. So, once you find the one that'll do it, that'll fit on there, you thread it on here as far down as it'll go, and then you thread this over top of it. And once it's already on, it'll like just seat itself. So, just go in here real quick. Now, when you get it tight, you don't have to get it ungodly tight. Um, but I mean, you'll know. Like, it's once it gets tight, it'll get tight, and then you don't want to go farther because these plastic, you know, this is just plastic, it'll crack. I didn't find that out. Like by doing it, I just, you know, I'm a mechanic, I know how that kind of stuff works. So beware, if your shift knob that you ordered comes with these adapters, don't over tighten it because it will crack. Um, so that's how it sits on there. Like I said, it's got like awesome weight to it. Um, perfect i'm debating on whether or not to put a short shifter in there but that might be too much i mean it's just a forester 2.5 uh so that might just be pointless uh, and i don't want to be a noob either um with this one the metal down here does show so i'm kind of you know tossing different ideas on how to cover that up maybe put like electrical tape like a smooth tape over it like you know black or whatever just to make it look cleaner this is for your reverse but other than that that's pretty much just all you do it's really not complicated um like i said some shift knobs might have a set screw in there and this is for manual transmissions only i'm not sure how the automatic ones come apart um i'm sure that wouldn't be too hard i've seen people do it but i've never done it <clears throat> so i can only speak for what i've done um other than that yeah i mean i pretty much cover it uh, make sure you subscribe and like and share this video. Um, take care and have a great day.